And I think we are live. We are live. We are hello, live. Hello, hello. Yes, so finally we live. Are back. Why are we back? Have we been gone? We, we have been gone uh, for a little while with our little while. webinars. Yes, so because you were on holiday all the time. I'm not always on holiday. I was on a business trip. Mm -hmm. There's a difference. Bus there's a difference between a holiday and a business trip. Okay. I went to visit uh, Sempatex Colombia. That was very cool. Yeah. Yes. That's yes. True. I visited the factory and it was amazing. Cool. So and it's now we are back with a live webinar and yes. we have a fun design. Uh, well, at least I. He's just here behind the buttons and I couldn't be without him, of course, because he will make sure everything goes well, like our sounds, our microphones. Kijk, long time, yes, missed you guys. Stephanie, we missed you as well. Oh, very, we have al already people in the chat, so... M Marco, who do we know him? Yes, I think it's I the think Dutch guy. It's the Dutch he guy. He was here at the Oak Parade. Oh, that guy. Oh, that guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, this guy will be behind the live chat, so if you have questions during the webinar, you can ask them in the live chat, and Kuhn will uh, tell me ah! the questions. Be he scared me. Ah, boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Hi, Birgit. It's going to be that day. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see I you. Miss this. <laughs> so, he's behind the live chat. So, if you have any questions, um, Kuhn will uh, um, read them to me and I will answer them. But keep in mind, there is a little delay in when we are speaking and when you are hearing it. So, that's yes. all. But we will answer your uh, immediate questions. Yes. Now I go to my spot. Okay, let's go to your spot. And ladies and gentlemen, there we have Denise. Hello. Yes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where I cannot see you. you. Oh, the lights. There you go. Ah, that's much better, much <laughs> better. So first, before we start with the design. We have um, oh, another viewer. It's Rani. Greetings from the office, <laughs> colleagues. Hello, office. Uh, that means they are not working. They are. Yeah, what? No. It's, it's education, so they know what they're talking about. Fair enough. Got your back, Ryan. So first, <laughs> we're going to talk I'm very speechless. short about our upcoming events. And the first one I want to talk about is our barbecue. If I think if um, you follow us. I have another question. How can I delete people? You uh, can't. Th Just th be nice. There's huh? somebody called Marco who's asking who am, who am I? That's actually a good question. You've been gone for so long, people forgot you. You have to reintroduce yourself. People will not forget this pretty face. That's true. People will not forget that face. <laughs> so, our so upcoming events. So yes. you said something about a barbecue. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Um, the barbecue, 25th of June. Uh, it's a full day. It's a Sunday. We will have two workshops. I will be uh, doing the first class in the morning. Uh, it's going to be twisting. I will do my big and cute designs. And then we have nobody less than Wim Vogel. You may know him from television if you're from the Netherlands. From television? Is yes. he on television? Blow up season, season two. Oh wow. Yes, so Wim Vogel um, will be at our barbecue and in the afternoon he will teach a class about organic. So he will share all his secrets, tips and tricks with you guys. Besides the workshop, of course, we have a barbecue and there are frozen margaritas and other drinks all included in the prize and we will have some fun games and you can win prizes and the very fun thing is that if you come up uh, dressed in costume that could be a balloon costume but we will give let you have the creativity of that if you come dressed uh, you will receive some extra rewards uh, if you show up dressed to our Mexican Fiesta barbecue. So do come dressed up. It's yes, it, it in adds the theme, the of course, Mexican Fiesta. So that's it about our uh, barbecue. Uh, and you can buy tickets for the barbecue until Monday afternoon, Monday 12th. After that, um, uh, it's not possible anymore. So if you want to join our barbecue, you haven't got your tickets yet, sign up uh, before Monday. I think somebody just signed up. Sophie, she's coming for the margaritas, I think. Totally understand them. They uh, are delicious. I must say, I make a mean margarita. Yes. So just only for the margaritas, you should come. It's but worth it. You have to, you have to get dressed up before you get a margarita. Oh, maybe we can do that. <laughs> no, you cannot uh, just uh, come up with that. No. <laughs> no. No margaritas if you're not dressed up. I I would love to have a button so I can like mute you <laughs> and unmute you from here. Why? So the second event I want to talk about, of course, is nuzzle up. 
nuzzle up if you don't know it by now. Shame on you. It's our Bloom Convention in October. It's a three day, all inclusive. So if you buy your ticket, everything, okay, almost everything, your hotel, you have to take care of yourself. But for the rest, food, drinks is all included. What? what? Did you say drinks? Yes, drinks. Also in the evening, there is beer and wine included in your ticket but for the convention. That means you can drink all you want. Yes. Can I come? Yes, you have to come. Oh, wow. So, but there is a restriction, no alcohol for employees? I resign. <laughs> <laughs> so, the Nozlab convention, we have 10 international teachers uh, who will give classes throughout the day. There are competitions where you can sign up for. And the early bird ticket is only available for this month. And from the 1st of July, uh, you will have to pay a regular price. So if you're still in doubt but want to come to Nuzzle Up, you have to make the decision right now. Don't doubt. Don't doubt. Just there do is it. No doubt. But make sure you get your ticket uh, this month for the early bird discount. Otherwise, you will pay a regular price. So just to save you some bucks. So what's smart. the difference? What? B between the, the cheap price and the. Normal 100 price. Euros. 100 euros. Yes, so you have a 100 euro discount. That's easy money. And you learn a lot, it's totally worth it. And if you enter a competition, you may win back your money. Hey, that's smart. Hey, that's something so to think about. There are competitions. There are competitions. Oh. Three competitions in total. Three competitions. Three competitions. Do you know which one already? Yes. We have a photo booth competition that will be built at the convention. We have on Friday evening the Rubble Bubble Contest. Um, you don't have to prep, you don't have to sign up for it. Uh, you just come on Friday evening to the, to the big, big room, the big area where we have uh, the evening activities. And what, 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 what does a Rubber Bubble competition mean? It's the most crazy contest you will ever enter. Everyone <laughs> receives uh, a little package of balloons with an assortment and you have a amount of time to create something very cool with those balloons and the best person wins hey. and Come. then we have the designer of the year this is actually before nozzle up you send us pictures of your uh, three best works um, and you send them to us and based on that we will uh, choose a designer of the year more information about the contest and how to sign up for it, you will find on the website nuzzleup.eu. Hey, we have an, uh, a viewer from uh, far away. Very far away. Her name is Melissa. Melissa, hello Melissa, all the way from the USA. Melissa Vincent, hey. Yes. You don't see her. You gotta love her. You gotta love her. Yes. Um, so oh. that, like hey, I hear Melissa and I'm... Totally Tom, flabbergasted. Yeah, totally flabbergasted. Marco, is, uh, he says nozzle up is so much fun and he's speaking of experience. So he, he's okay. Yes. He can come. Yes. Okay, of course Marco. he can come. He will do a class. Oh, really? Yes. So he's going to tell us all about the very popular shimmer walls. Oh. Yes. Hey, that's so interesting. That's very interesting. Melissa says hello. Hello, Melissa. Uh, so is Melissa coming as well? No. I don't think so. No, just for fun. Should invite her. So, the third, the very last event is the 13th of July and that will be our next live webinar. So, we had a little break, we, we didn't do our lives for two months, it was a little bit crazy at the office, but we will be back and we will be starting our, our live webinars every month. And as always, it's recorded, as you can see. And the recording of this live webinar will be on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page. So you can watch it as many times as you want. Hello, nice. Yes? Yes. And I think then it's time to start. So again, if you have any questions, it's a very simple, it's a very cute, very small design. Um, but if you have any questions, ask Kun in the live chat and we'll find our way. Yes. Yes? Good. Are you ready, Kun? I'm ready. Yes, get your face out of the screen <laughs> perfect now we can start um so today's design uh, we are using the new base drops by Krabo balloons and uh, i have one example here on my what's my my right 
Yes, my right. I'm terrible with left and right. It's a it's a girl's thing, a woman's thing, I think. Huh? What Kun says. So here, where I'm pointing. I already created one. Um, the next one will be a little bit different, different design. But it's actually with the new base drops by Krabo balloons. It's very cool balloons. As you can see, it's like a clover, like a flower kind of design with a little hole in the middle. And what are those used for mainly are, as the name says, it's a base. So mainly it's used to place on the floor and stack your balloons on top of it. They come in uh, three different sizes and these are rounds as you can see and we also have the hard base drops. So for the hard shapes we have the sizes 12 inch, 16 inch, 24 inch and the round ones are 13 inch, 19 inch and 26 inch and this is the 26 inch, this is the biggest size uh, that is available in the base drop designs. We have uh, six different colors and uh, you can find them all on our website. If you're not from Europe or not a customer, not a customer of ours, um, find your local uh, Grabo distributor. Yes, oh, first time I said it correctly. In one you said it correctly, that doesn't yes. happen a lot. I'm not going to say that word anymore. It's very busy in the chat. Uh, Stephanie is also coming to Nozzle Up. Woohoo! Great. So Crystal and the whole team of the festival shop is coming to the barbecue. Very, very cool. So if Happy they are the festival shop, I'm sure they will have great costumes. Yes, that's going to be a party for sure. And uh, Nela, hello Denise. Buenas ediciones a todo el equipo. Uh, so hello to the whole crew. Si. Sí. <laughs> Hola. And Melissa loves those new foils. Yes, they are amazing. So, um, again, I forget my words. You see, it's the first time we do it and I, have, I really have to get into it. So. July will be much, much, much better, even better than this one. What am I talking about? It's always, always when you interrupt me, I lose my... But it's good to interrupt so me. So I should interrupt more? Yes. So what were you going to say? We have the new base drops. Oh yeah, we have them in six different <laughs> colors and you can find them in a rep shop. Oh, that's what I said, yes. And if you're not from Europe, you have to find your local uh, Grabo distributor and uh, get those there. So mainly use... Or Vitalik. Orbitalic, yes. Mainly uh, used as a base on the floor and uh, right now I created this piece that is uh, viewed from the front. So you can use it um, to tie against the fence like I used our uh, frames, our grid frames here. Um, and you can tie them to fences, to doors, to uh, trees. Just make sure they won't pop, that there's not anything sharp. But you can use them in all different kinds of uh, elements. You can even make them double-sided and hang them from ceilings. So there's much, much you can do with this uh, fun design. Um, an example I have here, there is a black base drop. Um, this is always the base of the design. Then I tied my 18-inch round foil balloon and created organic structure all around. With the design I will be showing you, um, I will also explain how I added the organic um, structure around the foil. As you can see, you can keep on building on designs like this. So I kept it pretty basic, pretty simple with the uh, organic structure, but you can add uh, ribbons, uh, uh, vinyl stickers. So if you use a clear foil balloon in the front, you can add names, stuff like this. You can add smaller foil balloons. You can keep on building and playing with the design we have. The theme for today is of course graduation because there are a lot of graduations at the moment. Um, but you can easily change it to any occasion that there I is. I think some people are uh, messed up with the, with the base theme. They think it's, <laughs> it's drop the base. Of course it's Marco. How did you do the sound? <laughs> <laughs> with my mouth. <laughs> 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 How did you do it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kun is our beatboxer for today. So and we have uh, a big hello from Scotland. Hello, Colin Miles. I no, it's Ivo Yvonne Divine. Oh. <laughs> it's not Colin. No, there are more time. people from s more balloon people from uh, Scotland. 
Scotland is thriving. Mm. Hello, who was that again? Uh, Yvonne Divine. Hello, Yvonne. Sorry, I'm mistaking you from for Colin. And then greetings from Boom. Boom. Crystal, ah, nice. Crystal. Hello, Crystal. Nice to yeah, not see you. I always say it's good to see you guys again, but I don't see you. You see me, but I don't see you. Okay, so let's start because we just keep on talking here again. It's like we never we never went away. So for this, I have the gold 26-inch uh, uh, bass drop. It's a balloon, not a sound. Bass drop <laughs> by Grabo. And on top of that, I will stack this cool foil, also from uh, Grabo. First, what I will do is on uh, this side, I will create a connection point, and I will use the trick from uh, Gilles with the packaging tape because I still think it's a genius and it just works perfect if you really need a, a strong connection point for your foil balloon so I always use this trick also if I would want to tie this foil balloon into a garland for example I use exactly the same uh, technique I use a uninflated 260 and I take the air out of the 260 and I will place it on the center of that foil. Then I will take two pieces of tape and for the sake of my teeth I will not rip it off with my teeth but use a scissor like a professional would do. My dentist told me to stop cutting balloons and tape with my teeth. It's already flat. So sometimes I do it just out of habit, but if you're not used to it yet, don't do it. It's very harmful for your mouth. So at the moment I will do a little closer up so you can see it on camera. I created my connection point right here and I made a cross, a cross with the scotch tape, the packaging tape. So the connection point will go through the hole in the center. Like I said, the center has a little hole and the 260 will go through it. And I will tie this together using a 12 inch. Uh, don't inflate it all the way. You can keep it nice and small. It's about five, six inch, and I tie it to the other end to the 260 that I pulled through, just to keep it in place, as you can see. You can also tie it directly, like for example, you want it uh, uh, attached to your decorations or to a frame, like uh, over here. You could also directly tie it into. Uh, that frame and then you won't need a 12 inch. So this is the start what we have and let's center this out just like so. And we're already almost done. So as you can see you can already use something like this for your decorations because you have a nice uh, background uh, like a flower like of, uh, kind of theme and you have your message on uh, the center. If you create decorations, um, always know what is important about the decoration. When you work with foils, it's almost always the message on that foil balloon. So now it's about this graduation balloon because you wish someone a happy graduation and we want to um, highlight this balloon as much as possible. If I would bu build a lot of bigger things around it, the distraction will go from the center, from that foil, to all the other stuff, and this will get lost. So I really need to balance the design out, that you don't go too big, and this balloon will always be the center of attention in your decoration. 
here I created the organic. I'm going to keep this a little bit more simple. And I created these curly 260s and a half piece of 260 in the center so that they have a lot of stretch. The reason there's a lot of stretch right here is because I want to wrap it around the center and I want them to stick out nicely. So here they just been placed to the sides. Show it in a little close up. So they just placed into the corners and if I would tie that very tight they will move in that center and it will push away this center balloon. So now they just lay there relaxed like we all want to and they're not like pulled in to that center and you will just distort your entire design. So always make sure you don't build up too much tension in your design. Create that twice. So we have two curlies. Four in total on every corner. And the centers I will fill up with some triplets, five inch wide. But first I will very qu quickly demonstrate how to get that nice and tight curl. Because there's a difference if you pre-inflate or not. So first I will create a curl. I always love to use an electric inflator. If you don't have one, buy one. Um, or you can use the trick, of course, if you don't have one with the 160 uh, on the inside. So this is curl one, this is without uh, pre-inflating. And the second one I will pre-inflate. And I always notice that the curl is a little bit more tighter when I pre-inflate the balloon. So really depending on the look you want, get a tighter curl or a little bit more loose and wider curl. And really depends on the look you want to create. For this design, you can either choose to make them stick out, like so. Could also be fun. And I choose to tie the ends together. So they are in a circle. So again, two different design choices that you can do. A nice and tight curl or one that will stick out a little bit more. And as you can see, if I pull out, there is still a lot of space for those curlies to stick around. Then I will have some triplets. They are sized between 2 inch and uh, 4 inch. And I just do it randomly, so there's not really a specific um, sizes I follow. But it's in between 2 inch and 4 inch. And again, a half to 60 in the middle, so it won't be pulled into the design, but it will stay nicely and flat on the outside. And I also always wrap around one side extra in the circle. So I make sure it will stay in place. And actually, that's it. So it's quick and easy 
I play around with the design elements I have in the foil, the colors that I have, and it's a very simple way. It's playful, it's easy and quick to make, and I think it's very sellable. Um, also, if you make this double-sided, and it's for a party, you can hang it from the ceiling, and you have all these cute little hangers all around the room. As you can see, two completely different kind of designs, but both very playful. And the organic around here, as I promised I would show you, is attached on the same way. So here is that 260, and it's all wrapped around the same as I did with the uh, uh, 260 curlies and the uh, uh, triplets that I created. Just attach them on the same way uh, as I did with this one. People love it, Denise? Yes. Yes. Marco loves it. Stephanie Goza loves it. Melissa it Ray Vincent says, very nice, Denise. Totally sellable. Totally sellable. And Marco again says, Koen van Damme used to have tight curls like that. <laughs> I yeah, don't get it. I don't think it's funny. There's not much left, eh, Koen. <laughs> uh, some people. Uh, Bee balloons, they're good. She loves it. So Everyone loves it. And I, actually, I like it as well. It's simple it and It is effective. so simple and it's so cute. Good design. Thank you, thank you. Um, you know, you can add, add so much more. Let's place it in front so you have a better view of the two designs. It's working. Stephanie says, shopping my uh, barbecue outfit after this live. Aha, that's very cool. So We're already curious what she will get, get, how she will get dressed. Very simple. And if yes, that was me doing like this. They're working on the roof and there was a very big boom. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I'm a schrikskate, as Koen always says to me. I get scared very easily, so if I hear a loud noise, I'm like... So, very simple, you could see the designs, uh, you can go crazy. This one took a little bit more time of the organic around. Also, I outlined the base drops with a 260. Um, so I created a little outline, which all takes a little bit more work. You could go more crazy with this design also. Th so that's really up to the budget and what you want. But overall, it's very simple, quick and sellable. And, and that's already it for today. It's a very simple design, but effective um, and all air filled, which is also very important these times. I am convinced. Thank you. I'm totally uh, won over. <laughs> Totally run over? One over. One over. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much. Of course, as I said before, this uh, class, this live webinar, will be uploaded to our YouTube channel and our Facebook page, so you can rewatch it um, if you want to. Um, if there aren't any questions in the chat, I want to thank you and uh, thank you for liking the design. I hope you learned something from it and you can use it as an inspiration uh, for your own balloon businesses. And then we say farewell for now. I think so. And uh, people, if you uh, like this design and you're going to use it, yes. take some pictures and share it. Yes. And don't forget to tag us so we can repost your work. So if you love this kind of designs, come up with your own funny, funky, playful designs with the bass drop from Grabo and uh, share with us what you created. Um, even if you create something without the base drops, if you create beautiful work, don't forget to tag us so we can repost your work. And then I'm going to say goodbye for now and hope to see you at the barbecue. And if you cannot make it to the barbecue, we will see us next live webinar and of course in October for another lot. Yes? Good. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Adios. Au revoir, auf Wiedersehen, we zien ons later, tot ziens.